It's tea time, positive tea time, and we are spilling all of it right here in this space created by two crazy fun-loving besties. It's a no-judgment zone for sharing stories of hope, faith, love, growth, and most of all, grace and gratitude. So join us as we get ready to share some positivity and get a fresh perspective on life. Hello and welcome to another episode of Spilling Positivity. I'm Maria. And I'm Natasha. And today we're going to be talking about the pillars of friendship. But before we dive into that conversation, let's talk a little bit about our wonderful sponsors, Lloyd's Tea. Yes, Maria, we have from Lloyd's, we have this fantastic green, le- green tea with lemon. We yeah. have Earl Grey, which you know people love Earl oh, yeah. Grey. But mm-hmm. what I'm drinking today is red fruit because you love a berry. You, I love a berry tea, mm-hmm. right? And it is really, really good. And Maria, your tea looks really interesting. Yeah, I love this whole idea of creating teas to fit your lifestyle. So they have an everyday detox. If you're on that healthy lifestyle journey, this is clearly a tea for you. They even have a good night's sleep. Everybody needs that mm-hmm. to maintain a healthy wellness and yep. lifestyle. And then my favorite today is what I'm drinking, balance of sugar. And this actually breaks down sugar in your gut. Who doesn't need that? Who doesn't need that? Especially <laughs> after the holidays. You, know? you definitely need that. A and big night out at dinner. Exactly. Or birthday celebrations, etc. And you've had cake and all that good stuff. But what I love is the taste. It does not taste like people might say, oh, they talk mm-hmm. and all that. It's delicious. So fantastic. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you, Lloyd. You're amazing. <laughs> you are positively amazing. Positively <laughs> amazing. So, yes, Ree. So, we are talking about friendship. Yeah. And it is something that, you know, is so important to us. That's why we're even here. That's why we're even here. And you've asked us through yeah. our um, DMs and through mm-hmm. messaging to talk about the dynamics of friendship. And we can only talk from our own personal yeah. experience. Yeah. And we're going to share that with you. So the first question is... What 35 is, years of friendship. Th- yes. You got it right, girl. High five. I had to get in Let, there quick. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I'm, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so for the first... It will be 36 years, though. It will be, but we ain't getting there yet. <laughs> so what does friendship mean to you, Tash? What is What are the elements Ooh. of friendship? Ooh, I know. Gemini. Yeah. Let the Gemini speak. Gemini speaking. So friendship to me is very important um i take my friendships really seriously loyalty trust um i think caring kindness and a reciprocity of time um and and love and and stuff that is not it's not predicated on an agenda where because you of what you do or because of what you look like or because of what you have yeah that doesn't determine that's not for me I don't base having a friendship with somebody because those are the things that are important to me it's about your heart it's about who you are at the core it's about you know and, and for me my friends are my family yeah so trust is very important loyalty and knowing that in a world where people are can be so kind of two-faced and you know you have to deal with stuff from external and people putting in mm-hmm. knowing that I can walk away and turn my back and I don't have to worry that you are one of the people that's pulling me down yeah yeah you know yeah that's those are some of the critical things for me yeah and I totally agree with everything that you've said and even in a simple thing like being in sync and I believe friendship is a journey of yeah. life and as you rightfully said being friends also means being family yeah and just being in sync with each other, understanding where each other is in their lifestyle and their life journey and helping and supporting yeah. through that. Like today, we didn't even talk last no, night. we didn't. And we came out today wearing the same color. So yeah. that's a method of our level of being an example of being in sync. I also think it's also about grace. Yes. About really about giving each other grace. No judgment. Yeah, um, that's a are, big one. That's a big one. And if you don't have a space that you can go to, or I like to say a soft place to land, mm-hmm. where you feel that you can be heard and not judged, um, life is already challenging. Yes. So as much as possible, you need those people around you who will love you unconditionally. And I mm-hmm. think that's what good friendship 
is about. It's exactly. never to say you're not going to have issues. Exactly. Because life is full yeah. of issues. And no two people agree on every, every single, single thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. But I also think it's about approach, approach. and how you deal with the person. Yeah. You speak to them in kindness. Because I don't like nobody. Yeah. Being, you know, you know me. Exactly. Right? Um, and I think that's the other thing. You have to know yourself. You have to know what you're willing to tolerate. Mm -hmm. You have to know. And, and if your friend loves you and supports you, they will then operate to suit yeah and that's part of the grace that you're talking definitely about. about absolutely the grace is definitely so and we know a lot of our viewers and our followers in our community spoke about how do you maintain good friendships especially in spaces where one person at that particular point of their life journey may be doing better right than you and the feeling of how do you deal with jealousy and that feeling of okay why not me or why is this person doing better than i am and i don't think it's something that we've ever encountered no, in our friendship no. because we cheer each other on absolutely yeah because I, we don't mm -hmm. we, we don't do the jealousy thing no we don't we don't do we the don't. comparison thing no yeah you know yeah, yeah. as far as i'm concerned if you're doing well then that's great. That's like me doing well. Yeah, exactly. So I don't have any issues with that. Yeah. So I think sometimes when that happens, and I know that was a question that was raised in our in our um by our community, is that you have to check yourself. Yeah. It's not about your friend doing well, but it's about how you are perceiving your friendship, how you're perceiving yourself, and why are what you have to unpack what is going on with, with you, you that, that you, you are bringing even, that to your friendship. That you would even be jealous of a friend. Yeah. 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 And I think that's really important. So how can you go to a friendship in a space where you already have some issues to deal with? Mm. And I would say talk about it. Yeah. And and, and let that yeah. person know because we really should be each other's cheerleaders. Absolutely. And if you're not seeing my success or your success as equally as you rightfully said, as our success, then we have a real challenge. That's a real challenge. Yeah, yeah. That's a real challenge. I think another myth too is, and I know we'd go through this as you grow in life, is um, because you're great friends, you don't have to talk every day. Yeah. Because you have family, you, you have, have commitments. To do. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have to. And I think I saw a, a, a quote, um, a video, I will say, a, a reel, where this monk was saying, friendship, committed friendships are not based on talking every, every day. day. But knowing that that person is part of your circle of Absolutely. love. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and that is something that's yes. really important yes. as well. Yes, I love that circle, circle of, of love. love. Yep. Yeah, positively so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how you know people sometimes think, oh, you have to call every day, and neither is friendship about calling and kiki and kaka and yeah, other people. Other people, well, you know, gossiping. I'm not and, interested you know. in tearing down anybody, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the things that people need to consider. If you have a friend and they're doing something to somebody who's supposed to be their friend and they're talking about other people who are supposed to be in your circle or in your i mean how do you know they're not doing that about you when, when you're, you're when not you're there? there yeah yeah and you know they always say your real friends are those people who will speak about you positively, positively when you're when not, you're in, the not in the room if i if you can only talk about me positively when i'm in the room and then then, then there's a problem right yeah and those are real things we have to those, address mm -hmm. those, those are, are real things definitely real things. and quality as opposed to quantity you don't need a whole you don't band need five thousand exactly you know i realize you really only <laughs> need a very few mm -hmm. because yeah. at the end of the day um it is it is easier to manage Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One. In real practical in terms. In real terms. Yeah. And sometimes you have a lot of overflow and, and it just gets to be, it can become messy because mm -hmm. who is your friend may not necessarily be my friend. Yes. And, you know, sometimes that will happen where there's like a lot of, you know, turmoil or exactly, whatever. And, yeah. and nobody needs that. No, they absolutely don't. And I, there are different degrees and different yes. levels as well. Yeah, um, that's very true. I am somebody who, if, if I'm your friend, I'm going to do anything for you. But the minute that I feel like I can't trust that you aren't, that you don't have my back. Mm -hmm. It's a red flag for me, and I, yeah. I go running home. But you know, Tashi, which is not right. I yeah. know you keep telling me I need to give people grace. Yes, yes. But yes. at the same time, I'm working on myself. Yes. And you know, trust and loyalty is a big, big deal thing. for me. I think one of the things that we have had, we have to learn, and I know for you, you are one thousand in for yes. every friendship. And then when there is hurt, it really hurts you deep because that's not where you want to be. But that thing about understanding levels of friendship yeah. 
um, it's something that we both have to be on that yeah. journey of because we are both like that. Yeah. We want to see everyone win. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't mean that because somebody doesn't give us that level of support, they don't want to see us win, but people can only meet you where they, where are. they are. And they keep ta we keep talking yes. about that. Yeah. And we have to, to really give people that grace in that yeah. space, but not tolerate nonsense no. either. No. And we also learn, need to know that every friendship doesn't require us to jump in with a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Yeah. Yeah. It could be overwhelming for some people. Absolutely. It could be overwhelming for some people. Some people don't want that. Some people's whole experience has never been about that. And right. they don't know how to give that. Right. So they may take. Yes. But they don't know how they to reciprocate. How to reciprocate. Yeah. yeah. So we have to as well, and in friendship, and I think that's why we are support systems for each other, for other friendships. Yeah. Because we can, I can say, Tash, I know how you are. You need to, you know, from teenage years. <laughs> Murderer. Yes. I was always the one like, this person is so great. And we're going to be like, okay, let's just wait. Let's take our time. Let's take our time. And then after I come back, ooh, <laughs> they were so great. And she'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So but understanding you, I yes. know that's how you are because you, you are. Not anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> but those are your Pollyanna days yes. where everything was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you realize that you, some people just can't, can't give you all of that. Yeah. And I always say, I, I, I define people in my life as everybody is a circle of love mm -hmm. in a different, I have colleagues, <laughs> I have friends, I have sisters. Yeah. And I, I break it down like that because I had to, because it can take everything out yes, of you. Absolutely. And one of the things that we have to work on as women, I believe, and men, I guess, as, as well, is like we need to nurture our friendships through life. Yes. Yes. We have to nurture them. And then be, by nurturing our friendships, we understand how much to give. Yes, that's very you. true. Yeah. And I think for me, I, you know, I always say I'm, I'm an only child. So as a, my friends become my family. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm spending time with you, I'm breaking bread with you. I don't expect certain things. I don't expect to hear anything on the road. Well, you know, this, did it. I don't expect that. Yeah. So yeah. those are those are my definitely defining those, it's a, it's a no go for me. Yeah. But you know, I want to ask you that question and be the devil's advocate. Why put that level of, of expectation on people who may, who may not be able to, who may have your best intentions, but just don't know any other way and have to work through learning how to be that way? How much, how, what do you think of that? Think, how do you deal with that? Well, I, how I deal with it is I pull back. Because yeah. I have to know myself. Right, absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. And I have to know what is for me and what. I am willing to accept. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to accept that somebody who's a friend of mine is going to have anything to say about me that I'm going to hear or whatever. If you have a problem, you come to me and Absolutely. say it. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah. that is my line. That's where I draw the line in the sand. But what about those people who can't deal with confrontation and conflict? Who cannot deal with coming to tell you, well, Tash, you know, I really don't like the way you Well, that's okay. Hurt. And I understand. And yeah. I understand that if mm -hmm. that's how they are. But I still have to make the decision for me that I can't have you in my space. Yeah. But you're not giving them grace then, Tash, are you? I give you grace. I don't hate you, yeah. and I'm not upset with you. But I know what I what I need, yeah. and that's my boundary. Okay. And it just means that you can't be at that level with me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Because you know communication is a big part Absolutely. of friendship. Absolutely. And, and if you can't communicate what you feel about me to me, but you have to say it to other people, that's, that's a, problem a problem. Because yeah. you can't communicate. You're just choosing not, not to do it with yeah. me. And that's the point I wanted to make. Because some of us will go and say, okay, you know, I don't understand Jesse. Jesse doing rare foolishness. But then to tell Jesse is a problem. They don't but say you're anything to You're communicating to people yeah. that are not, that maybe you could even that have tell. have nothing to do with, with Jesse. it. Exactly. Yeah. And so as opposed to going and saying to Jesse, Jesse, we need to have a conversation. Yeah. These are some concerns. And you know, we've had those very difficult conversations yes, in our have. friendship. Not many. But. Not many. Not many at all. But mm -hmm. it's also coming from a place of wanting to make sure of love. And not bringing any issues on negative issues into it, our friendship, absolutely. which is really important. And we protect it that way. Yeah, we protect it that so way. So nobody can get in or past. Ah. There's like, it's a barrier that yeah. you cannot, you know. There you go. Absolutely. Um, what about you? What are your, um, do you have any draw the lines? Do you have any things that are very important to you? Yeah. Loyalty is very important to me. I mean, as though, although I'm a processor and I give people grace. What I will not accept is that disrespect because yeah. I consider it disrespectful. Yeah, and you can't be my friend and be disrespecting yeah. me. 
Um, you might not like the color lipstick I'm wearing, and that's one thing, but when you are actually going to go around telling other people things about me without telling me, yeah, that is a problem. Yeah. And for that reason, I have learned how to set boundaries mm -hmm. with people, mm -hmm. give everyone grace, but know what I will not accept and tolerate. And in that space, I love everyone, yeah, but I don't necessarily need to have you in my personal inner space. You know, yeah. Um, and I want to see you do well. If there's something I could do for you to help you, that's fine. But I also know when I need to cut. Yes. And I'm a cutter. When I cut, <laughs> I cut. She's a cutter. I cut and walk away. Yeah. I don't look back because yeah. I know that I've given you enough. I don't want. I know all people say work to hang yourself, but I've given you enough. You've given them a lot of love and as chance well. and love. So when I see that there's no improvement, I am not going to stay there to say. Oh, I, this is my friend, so I'm going to mm -hmm, stand by no. them. You've proven you're not my friend. Yes. And I can love you from afar. Yes. And I can wish you well and bless you from afar, but you don't have to be in my inner in space. space. Yeah. Because that's where you have the opportunity to, to hurt, hurt and destroy. Thank you very And you have much. to protect yourself Absolutely. in that regard. Yeah. And I think one of the things I've also noticed and I had to bring to your attention a while ago was you will have people who they're in your space and they, they say that they're friends. But then when something good happens to you, it's kind of like, oh, me too. Well, this is what I'm doing. It's like, and oh, and you did that? Well, I tell you, this is what happened to me. And I'm like, can you let her have her moment? Yeah, yeah. You know, just because somebody is, something happens to somebody, you don't, don't have to then jump in and say, well, me too. And this is what happened to me. No, let your friend have their moment. It's not about you each and every single time. Yeah, yeah. And so that's one, and the danger in that is the comparison. Yeah, it's well, people joy. How come, you know, how come, you know, these people always like you or how come this is always happening for you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, what is it about you? Or saying, you know, well, look at me and this person likes this about me and red flag. And you know, I, I think that comes from a level of inferiority. Yeah complex that they're dealing with mm -hmm. and I will try to give them grace yes she does and I will try to understand but it does not mean I'm putting myself in firing range too yeah yeah it is it is challenging and it's I wonder sometimes if they people even recognize that they're doing that or it's just part of their DNA it's Maybe. just part of who they are yeah and they just don't have any other way and I always say to myself what would have happened to them to bring them to the point to always have to compare and try to one up as yeah they call that's it, it. the one, one up, up they thing. one up you know oh so you ran 5,000 miles I ran 20,000 miles mm -hmm. in one day did you not see me so you know that kind of thing is is also seeking validation yes and yeah. i wonder i was reading an article that says a lot of that comes from people who have a lot of siblings um, and you have to constantly be trying to, to find out. your space in the in the space of many siblings mm -hmm. and, and you know um i don't know if that's really true i just said it. i've seen it with people who have none <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so clearly that that is not that's yeah. only a theory that really may work for some yeah. people but yeah that that is that is something that you know, at the end of the day, to wrap up, it's about giving grace. Yes. About creating a circle of love and defining levels of friendship. Yes, and being your friends, being that person's cheerleader. cheerleader or cheer them on. And lifting them up. We didn't talk about that, yeah. but that's one thing too. Oh when my you goodness. see somebody going through something like, you know, last year was difficult emotionally for me. And this one here, and you know, checked on me because she just knew, right? Yeah, yeah. And and was there for you. You have to have friends not who are all not only there for you when things are great, yeah. but when things aren't great, that you know that this person has your back. I'm not saying that you're not gonna dump everything on your friend. Mm -hmm. Um, and you have to know what to what to hold back on in terms of what somebody can handle yeah, yeah but at the same time just to check in just to know that this person cares enough about you to give you a call to make sure you're doing all right don't wait till it's too, too late, late right and you know um, it, it, that comes to the level of emotional intelligence but one of the things as well is you got to know what your friend needs at this particular time this year you're doing a lot better by the grace of god i'm so yeah, happy about amen. that Thank you, so Jesus. you need time for yourself now yeah. to rebuild yourself mm -hmm. so i don't have to call every day right because i know she's on a journey of rediscovering who yeah. she is and mm -hmm. finding herself again yeah and that requires some quiet time mm -hmm. that requires some time of reflection but you still check in i still check in but what i'm saying i know i know it's not that urgency that i yes, had last, last year. year and yeah. again tempering your friendship by understanding where your friend is in that yes. space of life and giving them what they need, need. not what they want. Right. Giving right. them what they need. Right. You right. know. So 
there's also that yeah. and really and that comes from being in sync yes and being it's aware true. and communicating openly Absolutely. so that's really so important. what do you need how can i be there for you do you need me there five days this week do you need me there once? Once. what do you need i think communication 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 about friendship that is, is your and knowing who you are knowing what oh, your boundaries yes. are understanding what you want out of a friendship and making sure that that person has the same values as, as you, you. And work on yourself. Yes. To be a good friend, you've got to work on you. Yes, and you be a good friend to yourself. You've got to be a good friend. That's where it starts. When you're a good friend to yourself, you can then, uh, you know, you can share that with the world, with others. Exactly. This has been great. I love this. Final episode. Final episode for season, season three, guys. We want to thank our sponsors. Lloyd's has been wonderful. They have so many awesome, awesome teas and oh my products. Gosh. You've got to make sure that yeah. you are keeping your, getting your fill of Lloyd tea. Yes, and... We will also be doing some giveaways, so stay yes. tuned for that. And more importantly, we have our very first special event coming yes, up. Yes, And it, it's, it will be around friendship. Yes, and it's a little different. It's a little different. So look out for look it. We're super excited oh to share Oh my gosh, we're so excited. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Spilling Positivity. I'm Maria. And I'm Natasha. So stay positive. And be happy. Take care. Bye. Bye.